Hi, welcome to the video Amazon S3 upload file examples with Java Service and JSP. I am Nam Haming from Code Java.net. In this video, I'd like to share with you how to code a Java web application based on Service and JSP that allows users to upload files to a bucket on Amazon S3 server. In details, you will learn how to upload a file to S3 with default permission and how to upload a file to S3 with public read permission and how to wait until the file exists on S3. Uh, to follow this uh, video, I suppose that you already have an AWS account, an AWS IAM user, and you already configure AWS SDK on your computer. If not, I recommend you to follow the video how to set up AWS SDK for Java for Amazon S3 on my YouTube channel at this uh, URL and then come back to this video. And in the next few minutes, I will walk you through the development of a Java web project based on Java Servlet and JSP and using uh, Amazon Web Services Software Development Kit or AWS SDK for Java. And the software programs uh, are Java Development Kit, OpenJDK or Oracle JDK, Apache Tomcat Server version 9.0 and Eclipse IDE. Note that we will develop a Java web application running on an application server such as Apache Tomcat and the application allows the end users uh, using web browser to upload files from their local computer to the web server. And then the application transfers the files to a bucket on Amazon S3 server. That means the files will be uploaded two times the first time uh, from the user computer uh, to the web server and the second time from the web server to Amazon S3 server. Make sense? Okay, let's code now. Firstly, uh, let's create a new Java project in Eclipse IDE. So go to menu file, new uh, dynamic web project to create a new uh, Java web project. Uh, the project name is S3 file upload and you can choose the target runtime for Apache Tomcat version 9.0 and dynamic web module version is 4.0 click next next and finish okay and we have a new java dynamic web project created here and you can see i'm using uh, jdk 1.8 okay and then uh, we need to convert this project to Maven project. So right click on the project and configure and convert to Maven project. Uh, change the group ID to net.codejava.aws. Uh, defect ID as 3 file upload. Packaging type is word name as 3 file upload and description of the project. Uh, demo uploading files to S3 finished okay and then we have the maven project file the pom.xml file here and we need to uh, declare the uh, dependency management for amazon web services software development kit so uh, specify dependency management and dependencies and dependency and the group ID, the group ID is software.amazon.aws SDK and artifact ID is uh, POM or Bill of Material and uh, specify the version is 2.15.0 and specify the type is POM and the scope is import to import the Bureau of Material uh, for Amazon uh, Services uh, Software Development Kit. Okay, and then we need to uh, declare dependency for the project. Dependencies. The first uh, de dependency is for Amazon S3. So the group ID is uh, software dot uh, amazon dot aws sdk and artifact id artifact id is s3 and the second dependency uh, we need to use for this 
Java web project based on uh, Sublit uh, is the Sublit API. So the next uh, dependency is for uh, Sublit API with the group ID is javax.sublit and artifact ID is um, javax.sublit API. And uh, the version is 4.0.1. And the scope is uh, provided, meaning that the Java Sublit API will be provided by the runtime, the uh, server, Apache Tomcat server. Okay. Okay, then you can see under Maven dependencies uh, section here, the Java files for Amazon Web Services uh, Software Development Kit for S3 and the java sublit api here okay so that's the setup for the project and then let's create a new java sublit class for the project new sublit new java sublit here and uh, specify the java package is net.codejava.aws the sublit class name is uh, home sublit to handle the request uh, coming to the uh, home page of the application. Okay, and next, and uh, edit the URL mapping here to just a uh, forward slash. Next, and uh, implement only do get method here. F okay, finish. Okay, we have the uh, generated code of the home service class here. Uh, delete the comments. And we have the do get method here that handles HTTP uh, get request. Okay, and change the URL mapping in the web service annotation here to an empty string. So it will handle only the request. Uh, coming to the home page of the application. Okay, and then uh, we are ready to run this Java web application on Apache Tomcat server. So right click, uh, run as, uh, run on server, and choose Apache Tomcat version 9.0 here. Next. Okay, and I add only the current project S3 file upload to the server. Finished. Uh, okay, I got this error. That means I need to manually add the server here. Uh, delete. Delete and add the server again. No issue. Okay, next. Finished. Okay. Okay, and then double click on the server name here to open its uh, uh, configuration page here and uh, specify a port number for the Tomcat admin port here. Okay, and save the change. And then now we can uh, run the project. Right click on the project, run as, uh, run on server. Next, okay, and finish. And you see the server is uh, being started. Okay, done, and you can see it opens uh, an internal web browser and the URL here. And you can see uh, the message from the server here. You see it is actually the statement, this statement in the do get method. That means our web application is up and running for the first time. And I can also access the web application in an external web browser, such as a Chrome browser here. You see. Next, uh, let's code the upload form, which is a JSP page. Okay, so create a new JSP page um, under the web content directory web app. Here, under the web app directory here, a new uh, JSP file here. And the file name is uh, upload dot 
JSP. Okay, and change the page title to S3 file upload example. And uh, we use the div and center the content inside the div align equal center. And we have the heading. A heading, uh, heading one is uh, S3 file upload demo. Okay, and uh, we update the home service class uh, to redirect the user to the upload uh, page like this uh, request get a request dispatcher with the page is upload.jsp and then forward request response. Okay, and then we code. Uh, the upload form here. Yeah. Uh, let me uh, test, uh, refresh, and you can see the heading of the page is S3 file upload demo here. Yeah. Okay, and then we code the form using uh, the form tag here. Yeah. Action is upload, and HTTP method is post, and uh, to allow uh, file upload, we need to specify the attribute and type is uh, multibat slash uh, form dash data. Okay, and then we uh, uh, add a new input text input for the description uh, like this input type equal text name is a description and size is about 30 and it is required okay for the text input and refresh the page you can see the text input here mm, sorry we should move the deep section inside the parent deep to have the content centered on screen here you see description and then a file input that allows the user to pick a file to upload to s3 server input type equal file name equal file and it is required and uh, finally a uh, submit button button type equal submit and the caption is submit refresh and you can see here okay so i can choose the file let me test in chrome browser you can see it looks a little bit different here i can enter description and choose a file from my computer uh, to upload to S3 server. Next, uh, let's code another subject class uh, for handling the submission of the upload form here. So, create a new Java sublet here under the package uh, net.codejava.aws and the class name is uh, S3. Oh, that's uh, file upload sublet next and change the URL mapping to slash upload next and uh, implement only do post so uncheck do get finished and we have the second Java sublet class in this uh, project here uh, you can see And you can notice that the URL mapping here must uh, match the action of the upload form here, upload. And uh, to be able to handle file upload from this form with the attribute and type multipart form data here, we need to declare uh, this annotation for the subject class multipart config. 
and then specify some uh, numbers uh, for the uh, upload uh, file upload size. So the first one is uh, the first one is uh, file size threshold, uh, which is the maximum size uh, uh, beyond which it, the file will be stored on disk. Okay, so we specify the file size threshold is uh, one megabyte. One megabyte, which is uh, one thousand and twenty-four multiply one thousand and twenty-four bytes, one megabyte. And the second the attribute is max file size. This is the maximum size of the file. Okay, so we specify the maximum size is uh, 10 megabytes. So it is equal to 1024 multiplied by 1024 multiplied by 10. So this is um, 10 uh, megabytes. And then we specify the max request size, which is a little bit bigger than the max file size. So it is about uh, 11 megabytes. Okay, makes sense. And then in the do post method, uh, firstly, get the value of the uh, fill uh, uh, description here from the form. String description equal request get parameter description. And we print out the description description and then we can get the uh, file path object uh, from the form you can see in the form we have an input type equal file with the name is file here so in java code we can get the path like this uh, request get path and specify the name of the part is file and it returns the part object and from the part object we can get the value of a header uh, we need to get value of the header get header uh, with the name is content uh, disposition like this mm, content disposition Okay, and for early testing, just uh, print out the contents, uh, the value of the variable content disposition here. Okay, and uh, for early testing, just uh, read the writer from the response here. Read writer and print line. Done. Okay, now we can test uh, uploading a file and then check the value of the description and the value of the header content disposition. Okay, I enter description here. Mm. Map of um, India. Uh, browse to choose a file. I choose a picture which is the map of India here. Yeah. Okay, and click submit. Mm, we got the error for for not file. Mm, okay, don't worry. I think I need to uh, restart the server. So uh, restart. Uh, the action of the form upload and the URL mapping of the subject class upload here. Okay. Okay, and the description again. Map of India. Description. And pick a file. Map of India here. Okay, and click submit. 
Okay, done, you see. And in the console, you can see it prints the description, map of India description, exactly. And the value of the header content this position is form data, name file, file name equal. And you can see it uh, prints the absolute path of the file. Uh, let me test uh, in uh, Chrome browser, in an external web browser here. Yeah. Okay, description map of the world. Choose the file pictures here. Map of Europe. Okay, and click submit. Okay, done. And you can see in the console it prints the description map of the Europe and value of the header content this position here. You see the file name, the actual file name of the uploaded file here map of europe.png that means we need to write some code that uh, extracts the file name from the value of this header so I code a new private uh, method in the service class here to get the actual name of the uploaded file uh, like this uh, private string get file name with uh, parameter is uh, part object path here. Yeah. So, firstly, we need to get the content disposition value of the content disposition header here. Okay, and then uh, we get the begin index. Um, Content uh, disposition uh, index of index of the string file name equal here yeah. file name equal and plus the index uh, starts from here and then uh, let me count the number of characters two four six eight 10 so plus 10 here yeah. and assign the value to uh, it is a variable begin index and the end index and index and index is the length of the string contain this position length minus one and then we return a substring uh, of the content disposition content uh, disposition substring from begin index to end index okay and then we call the get file name method here get file name passing the part object file name and print the value of file name here to make sure that we get the correct file name from the uploaded file uh, before transferring it to the to to a bucket on Amazon S3 server. Okay, now we can test again. Uh, go to the home page, uh, enter description map of Europe, and choose a file map of Europe here and click submit okay and you see it uh, prints the file name correctly map of Europe.png next uh, let's code a uh, UT class that makes use of uh, AWS SDK uh, to transfer the uploaded file uh, to uh, a bucket on uh, Amazon S3 server so let's uh, code a new java class here a new class class name is s3 ut finish okay and we code a static method here public static avoid upload file with uh, two parameters the first one is the file name the second one 
is an input uh, stream object input stream and I declare a private uh, string constant for the bucket name on my AWS account private static final string bucket okay and then uh, in this uh, method I create a new S3 client object client equal S3 clan builder build okay and then create a new uh, put object request uh, object put object uh, request object request equal um, put object request builder and uh, specify the bucket name bucket and uh, specify the key of the object uh, which is the uh, file name key file name and then uh, build the object and then we call clan put object passing the request object and to read the um, data of the um, uploaded file we need to use request body and from input stream here and we need to pass an input stream object and then the content length so we pass uh, input stream dot available that returns the length of the input stream and click here to add uh, throw uh, declaration okay so you can see it can throw s3 exception aws service exception sdk client exception and io exception okay so far so good and now let me update the value of the bucket name here uh, let me see in my aws uh, management console you can see go to s3 service and you can see in my aws account i have some buckets here and i choose the bucket name public images here so i copy the bucket name here okay okay and then update the do post method in the subject class to call the s3 ut class to upload the file s3 ut here upload file passing the file name and input a stream from the part object and get input stream and we should try catch exception here catch exception okay and uh, next we need to code the uh, uh, new JSP paste uh, for displaying the message so I can uh, copy paste and modify the code of the upload JSP file here paste here change the file name to um, a message dot JSP okay okay and on this page we just have a heading three and uh, we uh, print the value of um, an attribute with the name is message okay and then we update the code here string meshes initialized with an empty string and if the file upload operation to S3 uh, successful we says the message is your file has been uploaded successfully else in case of exception we set the message is error uploading file and followed by the uh, message of the exception okay and then uh, we uh, okay and then we set the message object as an attribute uh, on the request request set attribute and then we uh, forward the request uh, to the message paste a request get request dispatcher message dot jsp and forward request response 
Okay, that's the code for the file load subreddit class. Okay, now we are ready to uh, test the file load uh, to S3. Okay, you can see the server has uh, reloaded the changes. And now let me test using Chrome browser here. Go to the home page, uh, enter description, map of Europe, and choose the file map of Europe. Okay, and let me check. Go in the bucket now public images on my AWS uh, management console here. Okay, you see. Okay, now click submit button. Just a moment. Okay, you see I got the message. The file has been uploaded successfully. Let me check the console, you see. And let me check on my AWS uh, S3 console here. Click the refresh button. And you can see the new file, mapofeurope.png, got uploaded to uh, into this bucket on S3 here, you see, map of Europe. I can see the object details here. You see object URL, object key, permission. And you can see by default the permission for object owner is read and write. And everyone uh, or public users do not have um, permission, you see. Okay, let me test by copying the object URL here and paste into a new tab. And you can see I got the error access denied here. That means uh, the file uploaded to S3 by default uh, is not accessible to everyone. Now, I'd like to show you how to update the code to give uh, public read permission um, for the file uploaded to S3. So update the S3 UT class here. You see when creating a new put object request object, uh, we specify the bucket name and the object key. And we also specify the access control list using the ACL method. And to give public uh, read permission, you can specify a text for the ACL method like this, public read. OK, now let's uh, do uh, another test. Uh, wait for the server to reload the changes I have made. Okay. Okay, now go to the home page and description map of India and choose a file map of India here. Yeah. Okay, click submit. Okay, successfully. So uploaded and let me check my bucket on AWS account and you can see the file map of India dot PNG uh, got uploaded to uh, uh, my AWS S3 account here and you can see the object URL the key and check permission and you okay, and you see the permission for everyone public access is now read here you see that means I can copy the object URL of this object, paste into the browser, and uh, we can see the file. You see, it is downloading the file here. Let me show the file. Open it, and you can see it exactly the map of India on my computer. Okay, so that's uh, how to upload a file to S3 bucket with uh, public read permission. Uh, for everyone. You know, uh, by default, the uh, put object operation or the file upload operation is uh, executed asynchronously. That means the statement put object returns uh, immediately uh, regardless uh, the file is actually uh, uploaded to the server or not. In case you want to run some custom logics that uh, depend on the existence of the uh, file uploaded to S3, you can write the code like this. You need to use the S3 waiter object, so clan.waiter, and it returns the S3 waiter object. 
and then we you need to create a new head object request head object request uh, wait request like this head object request uh, builder and then specify the bucket bucket name and specify the key key file name and uh, build the request and then call the method of the waiter wait uh, wait until object exists here uh, passing the await request okay and it returns uh, wait a response object of type head object response wait uh, response uh, and then uh, you can verify if the object is uh, actually created or not using this uh, statement uh, with response match here yeah. response if uh, present the code in the if present uh, statement here will be executed if the file or the object actually exists on the server so here i just uh, passed a system dot out dot print line system not uh, not uh, be line as the uh, lambda expression okay uh, that means the file upload operation is now uh, running uh, synchronously you can uh, write some uh, your custom logic here uh, perform your custom logic here that depend on the uh, existence of the file uh, uploaded to s3 server makes sense Okay, so that you have learned how to develop a Java web application based on Surfit and JSP for uploading files to a bucket on Amazon S3 server using AWS SDK for Java. If you like this video, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.